Let's go. This is 10 percent luck, 20 percent skill, 15 percent concentrated power of will, 5 percent pleasure, 50 percent time, 100 percent reason to remember the damn. Yo, what up, guys? It's Sun TJ here to review One Punch Man Episode 4. <laughs> this was a very epic yet funny yet painful episode and all wrapped in one. Okay, we start off with um, this guy giving a speech about how the world is being being just like, like you know, being controlled through working, not people should be happy and etc. And we see, and then we finally get to see who the guy is, this big swole, swole dude, he's bald, he's got a whole bald team, he stole these special suits, and everyone, no one's taking him seriously. <laughs> And he keeps giving out these speeches. Then, if, uh, then uh, his team destroys a building that they think their enemy is in, but it's the wrong building. He says, "Okay, we all make mistakes. Let's move on." <laughs> then, um, then we meet the people he's trying to kill, and we see the assassin, Speed Old Sound Sonic. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought this dude was a girl before I like when I first saw the characters. I thought it was a girl. I'm not gonna lie, but no, it's a guy because he has a deep ass Japanese voice. <laughs> And this guy is cool. He takes out most of the bald man's army in one go. He is fast as fuck. He's, I think he's faster than the speed of sound. That's what he is. But he's like, he's, he's really, he looks, the animation is fantastic in this episode as well. Oh yeah, I forgot. Saitama, like Saitama says, yeah, I'm not going to bother with this. No big deal. Then he realizes, wait, they're bald. Everyone's going to think I'm the bad guy. So that's the reason why he even tries to help. And everyone thinks he's a terrorist, so that's why Saitama joins in. So Speedo Sound Sonic stops, like defeats probably all of the bald man's army. Then but he's able he's about to take out the bald dude, but he's he's lucky because he's got a, a really thick head. So he escapes and Saitama catches up with him and he's like, I see you and me, so I'm just gonna let you go. And the bald man like he does this impressive ass like explosion on Saitama. Doesn't affect him at all. It's like Tom destroys his suit and gives him one more chance and he leaves. He said, the only reason I wanted to do this is because I didn't want to work and he leaves. <laughs> then Speedo Sound challenges Saitama. And oh my god. And Speedo Sound's doing some impressive shit. Saitama, he's like catching like the knives that's going faster than the speed of sound. Doing some impressive shit, man. Then uh, Sonic tries to do a kick. Misses. And Saitama was trying to do an uppercut. But he hits the man's Balls. Oh my god. I was going to give this episode a 9 out of 10 because it was starting out a little bit slow, but this scene right here bumped this up to a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Fuck it. They, they said, uh, where are some technical difficulties? Because uh, his, his balls. Like, he, he crushed his balls. And he's trying to, um, Sonic is still trying to sound threatening. Say, hey, you have a rematch when he's like his knees are buckling. <laughs> Then, um, that's practically what happens there. Then, um, you know, um, Saitama, he decides to join up with, um, Genos to, to, um, to sign up for the Hero Association. Then the ball man, he gets attacked by this cybered up dude. He says, um, that's pretty much it, really. Oh, so he's still alive. It looks like he's dead, but he's still alive. Well, I'm giving this episode a 10 out of 10. Amazing. And I can't wait for episode 5 next week. Anyway, Sun TJ out.